Hello again, this is Doug, the two-minute gardener. Ah, oh, it's time to talk about furniture. So, previous videos I've talked about materials for patios, shade structures, wall ideas, the renovation's done, now you want to start putting some furniture on it. So let's talk about different kinds of furniture combinations. First up are these couch and chair combo sets to where you actually have the six foot couch and maybe a love seat, maybe two little end, <coughs> end chairs with a little end table. So this is a really wonderful setup for outdoor entertaining. Uh, especially if you have it in a kind of a shady area with an umbrella or shade structure, maybe even a fire pit table worked into there. Now, these sets cost somewhere in the neighborhood of one to three thousand dollars. This one's a nice little uh, little love seat uh, with two chairs, a little bit less expensive. This one's a little bit bigger. It's obviously a big wraparound, but very cozy for outside combinations. As always, there are links in the video descriptions for a bunch of these types of layouts. So check out those links if you want to get more information on some of the furniture combinations you're seeing in this video. But again, we're looking at outdoor entertaining ideas. Taking that to another part of the inside of the house, let's look at outdoor dining table sets. So usually these kind of sets, you're going to want them made out of something nice like this teak or a synthetic material or a metal material with a combination of maybe some tile on top, like with this particular combination. Lots of different options for eating outside in the summertime or if you live here in Southern California, Almost any time of the year you can eat outside. Small tables like that one or big tables. It's, you know, lots of different really fun combinations that you can use for outdoor dining. Teak is a very popular one. I always recommend to folks that if you're going to have tables like that to put a little cover on it so it doesn't get too worn out. Moving on. Seating with an actual fire table. Now most of these fire tables that you see in this section are are propane tanks so you have some flexibility about moving them around and you just swap out the tanks when they run out now the disadvantage of a propane tank fire table is that it's not going to generate a huge amount of heat but it just has that psychological warm glow of sitting around fire now that one is a built-in which is going to give off a lot more heat lots of different combinations some of them have it built into the table like you see there with those combinations so always kind of again a fun combination for having outdoor entertaining but what if you have kind of a really small space well just get a little bistro table and two chairs this particular combination i got at costco for 150 bucks it's a really kind of economical way to have it in a little tight little area of your garden and you know it doesn't have to be small and tiny it can be a little bit bigger but just you only need about six feet or so for those kinds of setups <clears throat> finally let's talk about just simple seating not really having any tables just you know a lounge chair if maybe it's by the pool or some simple bar stools if you have an outdoor kitchen or just one or two of these wonderful Adirondack chairs. Um, getting back to that fire table, here's again a built-in fire table with the fire going. They just got a bench and a couple Adirondack chairs. And then those benches are always wonderful as well, especially if you have, if you have like a nice view uh, where you can really enjoy it. So a couple of chairs, maybe you have a table, maybe you don't. Adirondack chairs to really have a cozy little spot and watch the birds play in the water feature or again with the lace chimney that's a nice source of fire those little guys um these are more pieces of art benches not the most comfortable cinema but they look really cool in the garden and of course these very comfortable lounge chairs to really relax and just read a book when you're sitting out there enjoying the hard work you've done on your landscaping some are fancy some are not so fancy but again these this video has a 50 different ideas bunch of links in the video description to kind of show you here's a section i shot at costco a few months ago when they had furniture now this part actually shows you the pricing of all these pieces and again i'll put the links in the video description so if you're some of these catch your eye you want to get more information definitely check on those guys so this kind of gives you a better sense of how expensive some of these pieces are and some of them are pretty affordable also now they don't have this stuff at this time of year because it's right now it's at the end of october uh but they do have it at costco.com and of course amazon sells a lot of this type of stuff 
all year round. So that's kind of what this stuff costs, just to give you some pricing directly in the video. Well, that's all the time we have for today. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Until next time, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thanks for watching.